Europe's flagship green steel Darling is now in trouble and needs to raise more money to bridge the gap. The world needs green steel. And on September 10th, I wrote an article about green steel, which is great even if you know nothing. And I featured a Swedish company called Stegra, formerly H2 Green Steel. This company is now in trouble. Back in September, I wrote that Stegra was leading the way in Europe with their first Greenfield steel mill, with production expected to start in 2026. Now they're facing a problem and they need to raise about 1.5 billion euros in funding to close the gap. It's not the climate tech that's failing, it's actually the unit economics and they potentially raised too much too quickly and needed more manufacturing discipline. Stegra has already raised 6.5 billion euros from some of the biggest names in the European industry, such as Agnelli, Maersk, and Wallenberg families, as well as Mercedes-Benz, Siemens, and Scania. It also includes Singaporean Sovereign Wealth Fund, BIC, and Swedish private equity firm, Altor, and French investor, HY24. Back on October 12th, the Financial Times reported that the board was discussing insolvency and the very real risk that Stegra will just be completely wiped out. Some investors are very much wondering if this is going to be a repeat of another one of Europe's biggest bankruptcies, Northvolt. However, one of the lenders says that there is a solid case there, a real basis to conduct additional fundraising. They may have a more proven business model and stronger customer demand. They were also expecting a 150 million euro grant that was approved by the EU. However, the Swedish government has refused to issue it. This has complicated their funding efforts. They've also faced slowdowns, apparently due to several state-owned companies. On the 14th, Swedish paper Noron confirmed that the company will be taking on additional financing with a mix of fresh equity from shareholders, debt, outsourcing, and selected partnerships. The CEO said that they've completed 60% of the Bowdoin project to date. The project is now delayed by about three months and is expected to be completed at the end of 2026 or early 2027. What do you think about the future potential for green steel in Europe? Let me know in the comments. And as always, you can learn more on my newsletter, Conscious Tech.